Psalm is 111. One, one, one. It's brief, not like last week. Last week was a very historic telling psalm. This week's psalm is not such a storytelling. It's an acrostic poem. If you're well familiar with that term, Psalm 119, the long psalm, is an acrostic uh, psalm. And acrostic means that each line, or in the case of one Psalm 119, each stand verse of the psalm starts with the next letter in the alphabet. So this psalm is kind of broken, and you'll notice as we read it. It's all good information, but it doesn't have a storyline. <clears throat> Hallelujah. I will wholeheartedly give thanks to Adonai in the counsel of the upright and in the assembly. The deeds of Adonai are great greatly desired by all who enjoy them. His work is full of majesty and splendor, and his righteousness continues forever. He hasn't gained renown for his wonders. Adonai is merciful and compassionate. He gives food to those who fear him. He remembers his covenant forever. He shows his people how powerfully he works by giving them the nations as their heritage. The works of his hands are truth and justice. All his precepts can be trusted. They have been established forever and ever to be carried out truly and honestly. He sent redemption to his people and declared that his covenant should last forever. His name is holy and fearsome. The first and foremost point of wisdom is the fear of Adonai. All those living by it gain good common sense. His praise stands forever. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom.